Alright guys, it's Naru, and I'm back bringing you some more Reach gameplay. This time, we're on the Team Slayer playlist, and we're playing on the map Precipice, I think is how it's said. But uh, if I sound a little off right now, it's because I'm not feeling too well. Like It's really rainy and gooky outside where I live, but at the same time it's hot, and that just does not make for a very good combo at all. So if I sound a little off, that's what it is. It's starting to get sick, I think. But uh, first off... Some of you guys might have noticed that my video count went down a little bit, and uh, I think it was at 70 or 71 videos before, and when this goes up, I think I'll have 52. And basically what I did is I went back and I cleaned up my channel a little bit. I took down, like, the videos that I thought were just, like, pretty bad, like, bad commentary or just really bad gameplay or something. And, uh, stuff that just really isn't relevant anymore, like, chat the like two minute channel update videos i just basically just cleaned up a little bit uh, so that way you know somebody searches for halo commentary videos they don't get like something that's really crappy or anything like that from me but um other than that i haven't uploaded in a few days and mainly that's because of the youtube sub box error where it's only uh, uh it wasn't publishing right people's videos weren't going up like they should have but I'm also going to be cutting back my videos a little bit, uh, probably to about three or four videos a week. That's something that Paul B suggested to me, who is another Halo commentator. If none of you guys have seen him, I'll probably put like a quick link to his channel somewhere down here. But um, it's something he suggested to me, and that's sort of like how I did my channel when I first started out, as I only uploaded about three videos a week. But um, it didn't really work out for me at first. I wasn't getting any views or anything like that until I really started uploading a lot more often but now that I've kind of got like a basis of subscribers I guess you could say then you know it might work out a little bit better for me uh, it, I mean it has its benefits if I'm only uploading like three to four times a week then I have a lot more time to play other games uh, like Fallout's one that I've been playing lately Fallout New Vegas and uh, in November I want to play Skyrim I've already got that game paid off and uh, those games you know take a lot of time so you know, giving myself a couple extra days to do nothing but play those will be good for me. But, um, there's, there'll be a couple exceptions to that rule. Like, say, if I really, really want to just have, or just really have a topic that I want to talk about, then uh, that'll be one thing. That'll be one exception. And the other is whenever I start up the Let's Play of uh, Halo Anniversary, the campaign. Because that'll be 10 years with the, the series with me when Anniversary comes out. And uh, I'll probably I'll probably do the Let's Play as one part a day. Like, one part will go up on my channel every day. Uh, that means that some days there'll be two videos. Some days there'll be, like, you know, the Let's Play and then a regular commentary. But um, I'll probably put those in about 20-minute long parts since I no longer have the cap on my channel. I can upload longer than 15 minutes. It'll probably be around 20 minutes a piece because if you don't, you know, if you do it too long, then people have the attention span to sit there and watch but I think 20 minutes is probably a good medium for it so that's probably about how long the parts would be but uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the last commentary that I did put up I don't know how many of you did get actually did get to see that since I put it up basically when the YouTube sub box was messing up so there'll be a link to it here somewhere at the end of the video but it was the team snipers basic tips for you know, people to help get more consistent in sniping. And then after that, I talked about uh, the grading time for a Naru video a little bit. And I'll also put a link to that if you guys haven't seen it, because I, I would really want some opinions from that. I've got a couple already, but, you know, the more opinions you have, the better. But, um, basically, I voiced that I might, it would have been easier for me to just meld in with the Call of Duty, you know, community and made my channel Call of Duty because it's, you know, the more casual game, it's more popular, things like that, but, uh, I had a little message battle with Paul B back and forth with that, basically what it made me realize is I didn't explain what I meant clearly, and it didn't mean that commentary over Call of Duty itself would have been the easier route, what I meant was is that it's easier in the fact that it has tools that other games don't have, like, you know, there's the Mission and Respawn Facebook app. And they, they just have all kinds of websites and forums and things like that for, you know, Call of Duty commentators that other games don't have because they're not as popular. And really that's what I meant. Is they, they just have access to tools. And because the community is so big, 
it is saturated with a lot of bad commentators, but since the community is so big, you know, you can find those, you know, little small commentators that are actually really good and, you know, network with them and do dual commentaries and things like that to move up. That's what I meant by easier. It's just It just has things that other games don't have as a whole. It, like, it, I've been searching for quite a while to try to find somebody else that did regular Halo commentaries, like, you know, on a regular basis, and it's just a nightmare to try to find them. And when you do find one, half the time you'll look at their channel and see that they haven't uploaded anything in two months. And that was just basically what I meant. Is It's, it's not easier in the, the sense that it, it would have been easier to commentate or anything like that. They just have access to tools and a larger community uh, of commentators to actually help you move up. It's a little bit easier to you know move up the ranks in that sense. Whereas with Halo, I make my videos, I put them up on YouTube, and I wait. Whereas with Call of Duty, you know, there's other stuff I can be doing in the background to help promote myself. That's all I meant by easier. But um, one of the other things I said in that video that I was going to be doing was um, I was going to start a new series called First Attempt. And First Attempt is basically going to be me playing the first game in whatever playlist. And no matter what that game is, win or lose, it's going to be uploaded to my channel. And it's going to be live commentary. And like I said, just basically the first game, you know, like... It doesn't have to be, like, necessarily the first game of the day, although I'll probably do a couple of those. But, say I've been playing Team Objective all day, then I all of a sudden hop over to Snipers. It takes a different skill set than playing in Team Objective. So I would, you know, record my first game of Snipers, and whether or not the game of Snipers is a win or a loss, it would be uploaded. And it would be live commentary, but it would not be about any particular subject. It would just be more play-by-play -play style, so you guys can get, like, an insight as to why I'm doing what I'm doing, you know, the routes I'm running, the positions I'm taking, that sort of thing. But uh, the gameplay is wrapping up here, guys. If you have anything else you'd like to add to the list, as always, go ahead and leave it in the comment, and I'll get around to it. But I'll talk to all of you guys later.